All right, so it's about time that we start making the strafe animation. And since we're going to have a f quite a few of these animations in here, it's a good idea to rename these takes so we can keep track of what they are and what they do. So this one, which we worked on in the previous video, is called Un Unreal Take 1. And that's just the forward walk. So we should rename this to Walk Forward in the takes. So what we're going to do from here on is to create a new take, say new, and say yes to copy the data from the current take to the new take. So this new take that we get, we should call whatever we want to start working on. And for this one, I'm going to be creating the strafe right animation. Um, so let's call this strafe right 90 degrees. Now before I go into details about this, maybe I should show a little bit um, about what I'm trying to do here with this blend, spa blend space. So we're going to create a blend space where we're going to have um, an, an idle animation in the middle. Uh, so the idle is going to be in here. And then we're going to have a strafe right. So let's just say we can just switch the axis if, if it's weird, uh, if it's the opposite way. But we're going to have the strafe right over here, 90 degrees. And we're going to have a corresponding uh, animation over here called strafe left, 90 degrees. And then we're going to have the corresponding or oh, the um, kind of the middle um, strafe animation, which we will call strafe right 45 degrees, and a similar one over here called strafe left. 45 degrees and similar to that we're going to have a walk the walk forward animation is going to be up here and then we're going to have a walk backward down here and we're going to have the strafe right back 45 degrees and strafe left back 45 degrees down here. Um, the thing is, <clears throat> the way we're going to construct these animations and the way you're going to move in room scale is going to require us to have a strafe. Um, left back 90 degrees also. It's going to be clear later on what I mean by that. Um, so for now, I'm just going to create uh, these uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven animations and not do the strafe left back 90 degrees and strafe right back 90 degrees. It's going to be clear, hopefully, later on why um, we're going to need them and what they're going to be used for. Um, and there might be another way of going around this, but I haven't really figured out a good way to deal with it so far. So f as always, feel free to let me know if you have uh, better suggestions to how to deal with this. But anyway, let's go ahead and do the first strafe right uh, 90 degrees. So we're going to start off with the regular um, forward walking animation as we had from last time on this one. So right now I have the control rig, it's not active, so I'm just gonna activate that. So I have my control rig active over here. And what I'm gonna do here is to take the root reference uh, node here, and I'm gonna turn it uh, close to 90 degrees, and then just enter whatever I need to be precise, 90 degrees uh, to the right. And I'm going to add a new animation layer in case I don't have one. 
So in my case, I didn't have one. In case you have one, you can just use this one. So I am on body part mode here, and I'm going to set a key here. So it's going to freeze this rotation here so that the character stays in that rotation. So as you can see here, I have my uh, hip rotation uh, locked or pinned. And that, uh, I did that because whenever I'm now going to be changing the rotation of my upper body, which I'm going to be doing in global uh, space, uh, it's going to keep the rotation more or less uh, pinned. I mean more or less because, yeah, well, I believe it can change slightly. So it's like minus 80 degrees here. And if I change the chest end effector to point towards the camera, like that, it well, it, it will stay. Okay, sorry. So what I did here was to turn the upper body or the chest end effector, and I'm going to turn it more or less um, so it points towards the camera here. So I'm going to just type in minus 20, just to have something even here. Um, just do whatever you think looks good. And then I'm going to set a key as well here. And really, it doesn't matter which keyframe you set it on, as long as it looks correct to you. Um, so the way you would normally strafe, I would believe that you would turn also your feet a little bit in towards the looking direction. And the best way I found to do that is to find the frame where a foot is solidly planted on the ground. In this case, it's the, it's the left foot. So I'm going to take the left foot here and this frame, I'm going to turn it just like 15 degrees or something uh, and then set a key as well here. And I'm going to scroll forward until I have that same just opposite position. And I'm going to rotate the right foot somewhat like that, just to make it look a little bit more natural. And then we're going to play that. So this should create, hopefully, um, strafing right 90 degrees animation for us. So these keys set, you can see they when we set body part keys, they're going to turn up green here. So you can see we have, um, if I switch to the left foot, we have a key over here. And if I'm on the right foot, we have a key over here. Uh, and also have a key on the chest or the, sorry, the chest here, which I set in this case over here. And I want to bake these set these keys here onto my base animation layer or uh, into one layer. So I'm gonna select these two layers here and then merge them down like that. Um, so with this uh, merged, then I have all my animation on the control rig now. I'm gonna plot this to my skeleton so now all the animation uh, is on the, the skeleton and the control rig is deactivated. So this is how it's going to look. And from here on, I'm actually ready to export this animation. So I select the root and select all branches. So select everything underneath uh, the root and I can motion file export this. So I'm going to call this uh, strafe right. 90 degrees like that and I'm gonna say select models only and deselect all text and only export this straight right like that so now we have that uh, animation exported and we can load that up into Unreal Engine we're gonna um, do continue uh, in the next video and do the um, straight right uh, 45 degrees uh, it's going to be very similar to this one, but I'm going to do these two uh, animations and then I'm going to leave it up to you guys to do the rest of them. The approach is going to be completely similar uh, until we get to the walking backwards. And then there's a little uh, change, which I'm also going to cover. So stay tuned and bye bye.